July 11th, Easter of France. The A380 test plane is about to set down for the first big trial of the test flight campaign. The VMU test, Velocity Minimum Unstick or Tail Scrape test, will establish the lowest safe takeoff speed for the aircraft. As the majority of aviation accidents occur on takeoff or landing, the tail scrape test is vital to the safety of the aircraft and its passengers. On board, the A380 flight test crew know that they have just two days to complete 11 successful tests. They also know that if they fail the tests now, a quick shift in weather patterns could bring stronger summer winds, setting back the entire flight test campaign. Fernando Alonso has the difficult task of deciphering the data and writing the rules which will serve pilots for years to come. Pilots uh, in airline service will use speeds always significantly higher than the speeds that we're practicing now so that uh, they will never touch the tail or they will rarely hit the tail. Because of the low speeds used during the VMU tests, the A380 will inevitably scrape its tail along the runway. To protect the carbon fiber fuselage, the tail is carefully fitted with a steel skid at the point of contact. This is one of those tests where we really risk damaging the aircraft. There is always a danger of an engine failure, so we must be totally alert. With the skid finally in place, the pilots can prepare for the first test. At the helm is Jacques Rosé, veteran of hundreds of VMU tests on aircraft of all sizes. But he's never flown one on a plane this big before. No one has. Immediately upon arrival, the crew anxiously step off the aircraft to take a closer look. And it doesn't look good. The 20 centimeter thick steel skid has been shredded to the core and the damage to the tail cone is clear to all. The crew know they must make a quick decision. Either they continue testing despite the obvious damage or they head back to Toulouse for a more thorough diagnosis, delaying the entire A380 test program, an option nobody wants to consider. Easter at Southern France. After completing just the first of a series of 11 slow speed takeoffs set to officially determine the VMU or minimum speed at takeoff, the A380 crew has suffered what might just be their first major glitch in a strenuous 15 month flight test campaign. A minute error in the calculations resulted in far more contact between the runway and its fuselage. Fortunately, upon closer inspection, Gérard Debois, the chief test flight engineer, believes that for the moment, the damage is most likely superficial. So the first test was not perfect, but was good. The only thing which is a bit amazing for me is we have uh, completely destroyed one uh, tail skid. So we replace it and uh, we have the double skin protecting the aft fuselage, which has been a little bit destroyed, but it's not a big deal. In fact, it was there for that. So uh, no problem to continue and uh, to, to, to go for the second test. The second run appears to be a success, but with time pressing, the ground crew races to the aircraft to discover that despite a more controlled takeoff, the shredded skid will need replacing once more. Unfortunately, there's a limited number of the specially engineered skids available, so the crew know that they can only afford to use one skid for every two runs. From this point on, even the slightest error could put the entire campaign on standby.
After two days of flawless coordination between the test flight team and the ground crew, they finally complete the 11 low-speed takeoffs necessary to determine procedures for all future pilots of the A380. They can now celebrate a well-earned break, knowing that the A380 is one step closer on the long road to certification.